And this is the best part of recycling electronics to make money by collecting gold plated connectors from electronics. And for today's video, I'm going to recover gold from high grade gold plated pin connectors and my latest scrap that I purchased. So, my process is very simple. Let's take a look and follow me. So, let's take on the scale. Ninety-nine grams. So let's proceed for the first steps by dissolving base metal at least eighty percent. Okay, preheating to remove contamination like grasses and oil. Adding into the paper. and now covered with distilled water. Gold extraction from high grade connector and add fifty fifty each and all three to dissolve this metal at least eighty percent. And the reaction has started. We don't apply heat first because we are allowing the nitric acid to slowly dissolve. We don't have in a hurry. This process take an hour, so let's wait until the base metal are dissolved. When I, pl I applied heat, and the reaction has go stronger and stronger. Extraction of gold foil. Being dissolving base metal, it's almost complete. And some extracted gold foil or our filter into our filter paper to capture gold foil. And there's some very thick gold plating that only base metal are dissolved so we'll continue allow to heat the water distilled water and I hand fresh chino tree here has started to 
continue dissolving and now after dissolving base metal that is our gold foil I can see in the camera just like that now done capturing gold foil to the filter and it's time for the next steps the aquaridia process we add 150 ml uh, hydrochloric acid And now we are heating the hydrochloric acid before we add nitric acid. Start adding HNO3 3 ml. I slowly add nitric acid here to prevent any excess while the corridor process so let's take a look if I see that all gold foils and also filter paper are dissolved then we stop adding nitric acid to prevent excess I add one shot of sulfuric acid to precipitate lead if any presence as you can see after adding sulfuric acid the reaction has stronger and the reaction has double So let's wait in a minute. See our our solution is greenish yellow. So it's allowed to cool down for filtration. Okay. Filtration technique the filtration process first filter with filtered cotton to capture any solids And now done filtering with filter cotton, so let's transfer another bigger. And now I had prepared filter paper for filter paper filtration. in the sticky as you can see the blowing of ashless filter paper here it almost clean during filter cotton And then filtering and then let's transfer to this large speaker.
for precipitation. Okay, precipitation process. Turn back the gold into metallic state by adding sodium metabisulfite. There we go, first pound. Second spoon. Third spoon. And that's enough precipitation. I see that there's a gold falling down into the bottom. And let's allow this one to completely settle down at the bottom. At least 12 hours. Add water to reduce the acidity. And the last part of this video is a cleaning process and melting. So stay watching because we are almost done. You can this solution. That is our precipitate gold called us black powder. See that? Now I transfer the gold precipitated to a smaller beaker for, beaker for washing and boiling with water. Okay, first boiling. Repeat this process at least three times. Then don't forget, always are allowed to settle down the precipitated material. Okay, the melting process. Let's add to the possible. Adding rocks.
1.2 gram so thank you for watching and our next video is IC Chips Gold Recovery